artist, uh, videographer, editor, um, yeah, artist, musician. Uh, Salman I met through Instagram because I was doing video. My Instagram was my video and my rap page. So it was like two types of content, but my rap was getting more views than my video. So I put a clip on there of an artist for a music video snippet and Salman saw that shit. And uh, uh, Salman, he's an engineer uh, from New York, but he was living in uh, Concord at the time. And he had a bunch of artists that he was trying to get music videos for. Uh, I think it was like 2019. Yeah, it was like January, February 2019. And uh, he DM'd me, he was like, yo, I need a music video done for my artist. Uh, come through to the studio. So I went through to the studio, hung out with him. Uh, and we just became friends instantly just because of our passion for music. And then I met everybody else. And went from there um it's always different like you know sometimes there'll be like four or five people in the studio and we'll all just be freestyling or sometimes you know Salman will, or whoever's there will make a beat you know Nikki Smooth and we'll just start writing you know it's it's whatever it's whatever the vibe is I mean I did for video I, I was given an opportunity to shoot an artist's tour for a good amount of money, and I think it was last year. And I turned it down because, well, I didn't turn it down, but I was contemplating it for weeks um, because I had school at the time, and you know I didn't want that didn't, to interfere, and I would have been having to travel. But I was gonna end up taking it, but when I called them, you know. A week later, they were like, oh, we gave the job to somebody else. And that kind of, you know, told, gave me a lesson that, you know, don't, don't deny these opportunities. Like, take them, take them head on, you know, don't hesitate, I guess. I think I'm still facing it, um, making money because, um, you know, being a freelancer, it's like, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, everything's on you, you know, you got to pay the bills, you got to put your money into your own business, you know, especially if you're an artist too, you got to put your own money into that, into promotion and your videos, thankfully I don't have to put money into videos, but um, I think the hardest obstacle is money, uh, it's crazy, like, I always made videos as kid as a kid but um like I would make videos you remember those uh flip cameras yeah my, my parents got me one uh I don't I think I don't know if they got me for Christmas or when when it was but I had a flip camera and I would make like silly videos like skits and shit and in high school in middle school I would make like skits and like comedy videos and then I got into like I wanted to make a YouTube channel when I was in college, like, sophomore year. And then I, I went and bought a Canon PowerShot $100 camera. I had no knowledge of cameras. And I was like, I just need a camera for, like, YouTube. And I went and got that camera. It was so, so shitty. Like, it was 720p. It was trash. But then I just, like, I started filming videos for my YouTube, and I kind of just fell in love with uh, video. And then my dad had a DSLR. He had the Nikon D7, D7000 or D700. Yeah, and then um, I just started using that and with no knowledge. And then I kind of just got obsessed with it. And then I went and searched and bought my own camera. And then I got a, my first client. And it, from there, it was just like, I like doing it, so why not make money off it? Uh, I wish I learned more, in terms of both, I wish I learned more about the business and you know how to promote marketing, 
I, I mean, I'm going to school for marketing, but like when I started out, I didn't really know like what it took to, you know, really be a big artist or have your own business. So I wish I took that more seriously, but I mean, everything has its time. So, you know, I'm not really stressing over it. Realist lyric. Um, I have this song from my second EP. I'll just I'll just spit it because this shit is hard. Like, because the whole song is about like rapping from. Like it's basically contemplating like my own life right now, and it was like uh, it's, how did it start? It was like um, I'm just tossing saucing words like an author writing what he heard on a train ride back to the burbs. With his wife and kids, is that a life I want to live? I don't know, I just write and fight with my inner self. Can't decide what path will help. I just need the wealth and health for my family. You know, that, that lyric, those lyrics, I feel like, when you, like, start to talk about life, it's when it gets real. Because you can talk about, you know, bitches, money, and whatever these rappers talk about, but, like, when you really relate to somebody, it hits more. That's why J. Cole is like one of the biggest artists. Oh shit. This is a good question. Um in term underground is actually how I like fell in love with rap. Like I always liked mainstream rap. Like when I was growing up I used to listen to like Drake, Kanye and like uh Wayne and all these guys. Uh Jay Z, J. Cole. But like underground when I discovered it from my friend Juan uh, in 2016, he really put me on to artists like Puya, uh, Ramirez, Suicide Boys, and that's when I kind of fell in love with music. And I also got, I also discovered Logic in 2016 and his old mixtapes, and that's kind of when I fell in love with uh, hip hop. I mean, the goal is to become a well-known artist in the underground and you know make money off this music shit but I think I'll always be doing music and video you know even if I get older and you know I I think I will develop a fan base but you know if it doesn't get to the level of like a mainstream artist I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be disappointed because I don't really want that like I wanna I wanna be known more in the underground and you know if I can make money off like writers checks or something you know from writing for other big other bigger artists then that's something I'd want to do but you know I don't know time will tell you can check me out at uh, Instagram H-A-R-I-S dot M-O-V uh, Twitter H-A-R-I-S M-O-V 97 um yeah SoundCloud link is on my Instagram, <laughs> uh, YouTube, H-A-R-I-S, look up H-A-R-I-S, working hard, that's the visual I have out right now, but I'll be dropping a visual around like July time.